This will be an instructional video on how to play Sun House's song Death Letter Blues. And to play the song you'll have to get your guitar tuned to Spanish tuning in open G. And uh, if we tune our guitars together, that'll be a low D. G. D. G. B. And a high D. The Death Letter Blues starts with that opening riff that, um, has come to be very famously associated to Sunhouse, and this begins with an upstroke on the open strings and then a downstroke. Then at the third fret of the bottom string, there's a snap bend, like that, and you'll want to bend down, and then a downstroke. So all together so far, that's... Using the middle two strings, there's a slide up to the third fret, and then it's hit open. And of course, because this is a sort of raggedy style, you can hit the surrounding strings. When put all together, this is played as an upstroke and then a downstroke. So then that's... At the fifth fret then, on the top string, that is the, the finishing note, and you'll want to almost snap it with one of your fingers, and add a lot of vibrato. And to make sure that you don't add a lot of the B string into that sound, you can actually have your slide at a bit of a slant, at a bit of an angle, so you can be sure that it's only hitting that top D string, rather than accidentally getting that weird sort of double stop that you don't want to have. So then all together you've got... When Sunhouse actually starts singing when the song picks up, he plays a sort of riff that goes a bit like this. And how this actually goes is he, go, he hits the strings with a downstroke, and then hits the third fret of the G string, while muting the top two strings with his middle finger and also muting the D string right below it with the flesh part of the middle finger right at the tip. So the result is that you've got that note with three muted strings. The D string, B string, and top string, the D string. So then that's open string, then immediately so again that's and then it's hit open again snap string at the bottom so again song, Sunhouse plays a bar across the top four strings, and as you hit the first four chord, you'll want to have that slide up. So that's... So again... Sunhouse picks
picks up when the blues returns to the one, to that same opening riff. Now the blues has reached the five chord and Sunhouse plays the same bar that he used when uh, he hit the four, barring the top four strings sliding up to the seventh fret this time. So again, that's slide up with the downstroke. And then he slides up to the 4 chord at the 5th fret. One thing that you can, can add into the uh, 5 or 4 chord when you're playing the turnaround is you can make these chords into a sort of brief and quick dominant seventh by adding in the pinky three frets above on the top string. So it'll go like this. So again, that's there it's at the tenth fret when you're playing the five chord. And if you want to play the dominant seventh sound on the four chord, be at the 8th fret. And Sunhouse really only throws this in a couple times during, a, during um, different choruses to kind of make things a bit uh, changed up. So this is something that you can add in when you play this song. And to finish up the song he returns to that same opening riff.